welcome to another Kevin video, and today I'm going to do a deck review of my <coughs> Pyrus Chaos deck. So let's get started. So, the first back on my deck is the normal Pyrus Dragonoid Core with a Flaming Fest and a Green Fest. Super common back on. He's like in a cup. He's in a couple three packs. He's in the starter set with the Chaos Hal Core. He's in a single pack. He's in the carry case. He's in the battle arena for Walmart. Um, so yeah, he's in a lot of things. And the back of course for him I have are let me grab them. So the flaming fist is a plus two fifty plus three of course. That's probably the best flaming fist. And then the green fist is a plus one fifty plus two. So not bad. Um, then let's roll them out. Here is a. The Pyrus Dragonoid, right there. Okay, next up is for the Chaos background, it's Chaos Nilius. It has a Magic Shield and a Flame Fist. 305. Oh, Drago has 205. Um, Chaos Nilius is a really good background. Um, he comes with the. He comes in the one starter set. Um, I forgot which one. It was the, uh, oh, it's the uh, Pyrus Hydrosult one, and then he got another single pack. Um, the back course for him is the Magic Chill plus 650. Flaming Fist is the same one as Drago, plus 250 plus 3. I already did a review on him earlier, but yeah, I, I got him first try this time. Um, so, he, yeah, Payoff Nilius, there he is. Next up is Arliss Trox. Um, a uh, shield and a fist, 305. Then when you play an action card on this, this gets plus 150 and plus 2. Very good back gun. His two sh cores are the fist is a um, plus 100, Pyrus Chaos plus 3. Of course, that's for those two. The shield is Pyrus Chaos plus 400. Um, the Arliss Trox comes in a single pack or the Oxide Knight starter set. So here, the let me fold out his arms. Here's the Arliss Trox. I really love this back gun. So let's get to their Evos. So first up for Drago, we have Hyper Drago. It's a one cost. You know, for focus. Four and six. And then it lands on a flame fist, th plus 300, plus 3. So, pretty good. And we also have two copies of Diamond Drago. Um, it's a 6 cost, 909. If it lands on a flame fist, um, plus 500, plus 5. So, and there's his Evos for Chaos Nilius. I have two copies of Chaos Hyper Nilius. It's a 2 cost, lands um, 506. Land on Magic Shield, plus 200. Lands on a Flame Fist, plus 2. That's all for him. And then, Arliss Trox, we have one copy of Hyper Trox. It's a 2 cost, 606. I have Shadow Strike, and then when you play an action card on this, this gets plus 3 and plus 4. So there's all the Bakugan. Let's move all their Evos out of the way. Okay, on to the action cards. We're going to start off with the Chaos ones. So we have one copy of Chaos Blessing. It's a two cost, plus four, and you may re-roll your back gun. So there's that. Then we have um, one copy of Wayne. Um, it's a two cost, destroy an Evo that was not played this turn, so pretty good. Next up we have two copies of Consort. Um, it's a three cost. Attach a back core from the field to an open back gun. That's pretty cool if, and then you can like pick one back core that you want. It's really helpful in some cases. Spirit Guide, it's a 3 cost, plus 400. You may re-roll your back gun. Next up we have two copies of Revitalize. It's a 3 cost, plus 4 for each hero card you have in place. We'll show off the heroes in a, in a little bit. Next up we have Wing Cutter. Plus 600, Domination, if your back gun is holding out the most back cores, turn this to your hand, so pretty good. That's all the Chaos cards, action cards. Let's move on to the Pyrus card actions. Let me grab them all. 
So we have quite a bit. So we have two copies of Power Ritual, plus one energy for each back cover that your back gun are holding. So, yeah, so the consort really helps that. And that can be really good. Next up, we have one copy of Might of Sinius. It's a um, two cost, plus one. And then this turn is decided by the highest um, attack power, but then your B. So, you get. If you get have like a really high attack power, that's a really good card. Next up we have Cycling Once, a 2 cost plus 2, then it's turn this spot on your deck, so you get an extra health point. Next up, I have 2 copies of Air Zero. Reveal the top card of your deck. If it is not a flip card, you may play it for free. So basically, uh, Dan from Battle Brawlers, except in an action card. I never got a Dan from Battle Brawlers, so yeah. Two copies of Hot Potato. Whoops. Sorry. Drop the camera. Um, um, remove an enemy's back gun, back core, and negate its effect. You may return the back core onto the field face down. Or two enemies. So, I like it. Especially for the dominance effect. Next up, Cindy Sand. sand. Two cost. Shuffle any number of cards from your hand to your deck. Plus one for each of um of the cards shuffled. So yeah, pretty decent. And then if you have any flip cards, you can do that instead of putting them in energies. If you win the battle, and so then you have more flip cards to go through. <coughs> Next up, we have one copy of Cinder Coil. Five cost, destroy all enemy heroes. So you can just if they have like a Dragonite Maximus deck, um, they have like Leah and Winton or something. Just, just, you can just destroy them with that. So, really good in my opinion. Next up is Dual Strike for 3 energies plus Double Strike, and you may re roll your back gun. So, pretty good card. Finally, we have 2 copies of Molten Helix. Um, never mind. I just want to stuff behind it. Um, so, here's Molten Helix, a 4 cost, and then plus 2 and Double Strike. So, pretty decent. And here's the final Pirate's card Meteor Clans. 5 cost, plus 11 damage, so, yep, there's all the Pyre's action cards, so next up, we are going to go through all the flip cards, so let's go with the Pyre's flip cards first, for this one, so I have two copies of Block Outsiders, it's a 3 cost, stop non Pyre's background, pretty good. Next up, we have three copies of Pyrus Dominance, um, and then Stop non Pyrus. It's a five cost, so two more, but you get a straight energy card, so you can destroy opponents. Pretty cool. Next up, we have one copy of Halt Outsiders, three cost. Oh, here's all the Chaos ones. Um, Stop non Chaos. So, yep. And next up is Luck Aura. It's a four cost. Play a card from your hand for free. So, like, you can try to get, like, a hero or an evo. So, like, let's say, like, try to get a diamond drago out with that. Next up, we have stand together. A four cost. Stop non chaos. Dominance. If you're back on holding the most back course, this is free. I wish I had more of these, but sadly, I only have one of that card. So, yeah. Hey, finally, we have the hero cards, which we have four. We're just going to start off with Pyrus, because we only have one. Bill Cuso, two costs. When an opponent plays a flip card, you may draw a card. Yeah, we only have one of that. Next up, Colonel Chip. Colonel Armstrong Chip. Oh, Bill Cuso is two cost. Colonel Chip is three cost. When one of your back on attacks, draw a card. Yep, good draw support. And we have two copies of Shardra Rogan, uh, Ronin, and then one cost. When you rack on open, it gets 100 extra B power, so pretty good. Yes, you can play on your first turn, so you can get an extra 100 right away. So, that is my um, Pyrus Chaos deck, um, dominant stat deck, I guess, with um, or the shock. So, till next time. Bye.